right, time is running out. This is your last night to enter our Hall of Fame getaway contest. Log on to csnbayarea.com before your uh, chance to win the VI package for two expires. The contest again ends tonight at midnight, so log on right now, csnbayarea.com. Welcome back to Chronicle Live, presented by autotrader.com. Brody Brazil is a good sport. He's going to join us in a moment here, but last Friday, he took it to new heights, you might say. He went to the very top, the penthouse suite of the Hyatt Regency Hotel here in downtown San Francisco. It actually went a little higher to the very top of the building, and for a very good cause, he descended down 38 stories. Here's Brody's story. Here's your harness. Okay. Um, it's very simple. Just go ahead and stand right in there. Okay. And once, <laughs> once you're in there, I just want you to lean down, grab the waist belt, and pull it out. Okay. Perfect. Now I want you to grab this with your hand. Okay. You grab this with your hand. Okay. I want you to pull it tight. Okay. Go ahead and, and duck your head through this one. There you go. How's that feel? Pretty good. Height is good. Height is very, Height is very good. Awesome. So here, here's your helmet. <coughs> yeah, helmet cams on there. And then our repelling device. And there we have it. And last but not least. Relax and stop. Make sure you stop and Th check it out. Should somebody scared of heights be doing this? Sure. Yeah, as long as they can calm down. for the viewers right here. Good. It's a strain, strain on your hands to be able to hold this thing and actually stay close to the wall. A little tougher than I thought. I wish I had something good to say right now. Yeah! Good job, Brody. Oh. That's awesome. Oh. Exhausting, huh? Oh. <laughs> yes! That was definitely the toughest thing I've ever done, ever had to mentally prepare for. And now, 
I can say that I've done it. I'm just gonna stay here for a while. Oh. Yeah, excuse me while I kiss the ground. Why did you do that? It's like cheating death, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Peer pressure is one heck of a thing, Greg. That's we'll all talk I to you say. into that, Brody. Sean Madison, who's our Sharks producer here at Comcast Sportsnet, threw it out at me, and then before I knew <laughs> it, I kind of said, yeah, that sounds great, you know, forgetting about the fact that I'm afraid of heights. And then everybody else found out, and then eventually it was too late. I could not say no. I was thinking of Mel Brooks with high anxiety. It's no worries, though. I had the helmet okay. on. That was going to save me. No, it, you it, know that. It, it was for you. The little helmet would have. He, <laughs> he looked like Lanny McDonald coming down there. The helmet was not going to help you much. I got to tell no. you. No. It, it, it was for a good cause. Yeah. So everybody that rappelled down the side of the 38 story Grand Hyatt in San Francisco uh, raised $1,000 for the Special Olympics of Northern California. And I believe uh, we did this on last Friday. Uh, I believe everybody that went on Saturday, there were about 50 to 60. Uh, total other repellers, Special Olympics of Northern California raised uh, over $100,000 in these two days, and everybody was safe. That's the good news. How long did it take you to come down? I don't know. I Please. couldn't tell you, but they told me, and, and looking back at the tape, it was about eight minutes. Um, I liked the view. I had to look down. You saw I had the helmet cam on there, but I was ready to get down after just, you know, the 35th story. I was ready to be on Now, why didn't you go over windows like Adam West used to do in the old campy Batman series? You could have, like, you know, had Eartha Kitt there <laughs> in the window as you're going I, down. You, you know, I tried to peek into some of the hotel rooms just to, you know, see what was going on in there on my way down, figuring that nobody would expect it. But, uh, you know, in the moment, you get so caught up with yeah. just surviving and the adrenaline oh, kicks well. in. And yeah. Did you think about pulling like a Peter Parker, Spider-Man, and, and shooting back up the, the wall? After nope. you got down, you got a little cocky and say, I'm going to go back up now. <laughs> no. You know what? Actually, my one regret about the whole thing, I should have wore a tux. <laughs> yeah. I should have pretended I was James Bond. Have a little martini and playing a yeah. game of backer. <laughs> you should have seen how nervous I, I was. I wanted you to shoot up and do the, the Peter Parker thing. <laughs> Brody, you are Next a good time. sport. <laughs> Thank you. Unbelievable. Right. I was impressed when he shaved on Chronicle Live. <laughs> We're going down 38 feet. Uh, I... 38 stories, hundreds of yeah. feet. I repel that. All right. We go from our version of Spider-Man to Ant. That's Ant's Mind and Body on Telegraph Avenue in Oakland. Actually, Ant is coming to us. Coach Ant, Anthony Eggleton, and A.J. Chan, the founder of the business, are here to tell us about their different holistic sport-specific meditation workout that a lot of young Bay Area athletes are into. That is next on Chronicle Live, presented by Autotrader.com.